Okay. So, sum and difference formulas. Sine of 75. What two numbers did you use? 30 and 45. Those are quick. So, it's a sine of 30, cosine of 45, plus cosine of 30, sine of 45, which is 1 half times square root of 2 over 2, times, or plus square root of 3 over 2, times 1 half, no, not 1 half, square root of 2 over 2. And so it's square root of 2 over 4 plus square root of 6 over 4, which is square root of 2 plus square root of 6 all over 4. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, cosine of 11 pi over 12 is the cosine of what over 12 and 1 over 12? 3 pi over 12 and 8 pi over 12, which is the cosine of pi over 4 plus 2 pi over 3. So it's the cosine of pi over 4, cosine of 2 pi over 3, minus sine of pi over 4, cosine of 2 pi over 3. And this is square root of 2 over 2. This is cosine is a negative 1 half there. Sine square root of 2 over 2, sine square root of 3 over 2. So it's negative square root of 2 over 4 minus square root of 6 over 4, which is negative square root of 2 minus square root of 6 all over 4. Final answer should be with just one denominator, not two. If you leave it like that, yep, I'll ding you. All right, tangent of 105 is a tangent of 60 plus a tangent of 45. Tangent of 60 plus 45, which is the tangent of 60 plus the tangent of 45 over 1 minus the tangent of 60, tangent of 45, which is square root of 3 plus 1 over 1 minus square root of 3, 1 times square root of 3. So we know what it is. So then we multiply top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator, 1 plus the square root of 3. So then that becomes um, square root of 3 Outers is 3, inners is 1, last times last is square root of 3 over 1 minus square root of 3, which is 4 plus 2 square root of 3 over, whoops, that's not square root of 3, that's just a 3. So over negative 2, factor out in 2, and it's 2 plus the square root of 3 over negative 2, which is negative 2 minus the square root of 3. All right, sine of 7 pi over 12 is the sine of 3 pi over 12 plus 4 pi over 12. So it's the sine of pi over 4 plus pi over 3. So it's sine of pi over 4 cosine of pi over 3 plus cosine of pi over 4 sine of pi over 3. So it is square root of 2 over 2, 1 half plus square root of 2 over 2, square root of 3 over 2, which is square root of 2 plus square root of 6, Any problems on the first four so far? Everybody good with those? Good. Cosine 255. Okay, 255. That'd be like 45 and 215? Or 45 and 210? That's, do you want to use that? Or 135 and 90? Or 120 and 135. 120 and one, oh yeah, 120 and 135. How about we use that? It really doesn't matter to me what we use. Cosine of 120, cosine of 135. You don't have to change your answers because if the final answer doesn't match, then maybe you did something wrong, okay? Sine 120, sine 135. 
All right, so cosine of 120 is negative 1 half. 135 is negative square root of 2 over 2. Sine of 120 is positive square root of 3 over 2. Sine of 135 is positive square root of 2 over 2. So it's square root of 2 over 4 minus square root of 6 over 4, which is square root of 2 minus square root of 6 over 4. Does that match your answer? Everybody's good with that. Now, if you got it wrong and you use different angles, you know, we can go through that if you really, really, really want to. Do you really, really, really want to? No. Okay. Yeah, six, two plus six and six plus two is the same thing. Oh, whoa, it's a minus though. No, oh, so then that then then there's a problem because because that's not commutative. So what numbers did you use? Let's do two ten plus. Did you use two ten plus forty five? Yeah, ninety wouldn't have worked because ninety and what did you use? Ninety and. 90 and 165 add up to 255. You didn't add right, just like I didn't add right when I was sitting here a couple seconds ago when I was doing the same thing. Yep. So for number three, if I got negative square root of three minus two, is that? That's the same thing. Okay. Because you can commute, if they're both negatives, you can commute them with their negative signs. You're with, a, with that. But this is not commutative because you can't, Make the two a negative and the six a positive. Negative six plus two over four works. Then you're good. Then we don't have to worry about it. Okay? All right. So tangent of negative pi over 12 is a tangent of... Hmm. Yeah, so... 8 pi over 12 minus 9 pi over 12. So then it's tangent of 2 pi over 3 minus 3 pi over 4. And you go, why do you use those? Well, 2 pi over 3 is that 120 degree. You want to use 120 or 60, which works good. Now, Ali Vicanti is sitting here going, well, why didn't you use um, 4 pi over 12 and 3 pi over 12, right? And that would be just fine. You could use 4 pi over 12 minus 3 pi over 12. That might even be better. Or 3, 3 over 4, 3 over 12 and 4 over 12. Okay? Is that what you used? No. No. Use first way. So then this would be the tangent of pi over 4 minus pi over 3. So either way, you should get the same answer, and I'll prove it right here, right now. So tangent of this is tangent of 2 pi over 3 minus tangent of 3 pi over 4 over 1 minus tan 1 plus tangent of 2 pi over 3 tangent a 3 pi over 4, which is tangent 2 pi over 3 is negative square root of 3. This is negative 1, so minus a negative 1 is plus a positive 1 over um, 1 plus a negative square root of 3 times a negative 1, which is one plus square root of 3. So you have to multiply top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator, which is 1 minus the square root of 3. So a negative square root of 3 minus 3 plus 1, oop, plus 3 plus 1, and then minus square root of 3 all over 1 minus 3, which is negative... 2 square root of 3 plus 4 over negative 2, which is 
If you factor out a negative 2, you get square root of 3 minus 2 over negative 2, which is square root of 3 minus 2. Is that what you got for this one too, hopefully? Negative 2 plus square root of 3. Do we need to do that or are we good? We're good. Okay. All right. Double angle formulas. These, your answers are right on your sheet. So you could look up the cosine of 120, see that it is negative one half and go, well, that's the answer I'm going to have to get to. So cosine of 120 is cosine of two times 60. And the cosine one, I suppose we'll use two cosine of 60 squared minus one. So the cosine of 60 is one half. If we square it, it's one fourth. So it's two times one fourth is one half, which is negative one half. Which is the right answer. The tangent of 240 is a tangent of two times 120. And so are we using, okay, which one is this? Um, I can't even remember this one. I need a note card. No, Oliver, that's a half angle formula. Two times tangent of 120. That, right? So it's 2. Tangent of 120 is negative square root of 3 over 1 minus negative square root of 3 squared, which is negative 2 square root of 3 over 1 minus 3, which is negative 2 square root of 3 over negative 2, which is just positive square root of 3, which if you look at 240, it should be positive because it's negative over negative. Thank goodness for note cards, because even I can't remember all these every time. Okay, half angle formulas. Whoa. Come on. The touch screen is just really touchy today. All right, sine of 67.5 is the sine of one half of... 67.5 times 2 is what, 135? So it's, where is 67.5? What quadrant? One. one. So it's going to be positive. One minus the cosine of 135. Or is it cosine minus one? One minus cosine of 135 over two. So it's one minus square root of 2 over 2, all over 2. So you multiply the top and bottom by 2. So it's 2 minus the square root of 2, all over 4. So it's 2 minus the square root of 2 over 2. Whoa! Cosine of 135 is a negative. So minus a negative is plus a positive. <laughs> square root of two plus or square root of two plus square root of two all over two. All right, cosine of five pi over twelve is the cosine of one half of five pi over six. So it's the square root of one plus the cosine of five pi over six all over two. Well, we know the cosine of five pi over six is negative one or negative square root of three over two. Right, Trey? Yes. So if we multiply top and bottom by two, it's the square root of two minus the square root of three all over four which is the square root of 2 minus the square root of 3 all over 2. Now, 
5 pi over 12. What quadrant are we in? 1. Because 6 pi over 12 is pi over 2, which is right at the middle, right at the y-axis. So 5 pi over 12 is just less than that, so it would be sitting in quadrant 1. So it's positive. Tangent of 7 pi over 12. 7 pi over 12 is just over that line, right? So it's going to wind up to be negative in the end, right? So we should make sure the answer is negative. Okay, so tangent of 7 pi over 12 is the tangent of 1 half of 7 pi over 6, which is... Is it, what's the cosine one with the sine on the bottom? Or is it the, yeah. What's the, which one is that? Again, no card. One minus cosine. That's the one we want to use. Okay. Because it's the easiest because then we're not adding and subtracting in the denominator. So it's one minus and then cosine of 7 pi over 6 is a negative square root of 3 over 2. The sine of 7 pi over 6 is negative 1 half. So if we go plus a positive, it's 1 plus square root of 3 over 2 over negative 1 half. And then we'll multiply by a negative 2 on the top and bottom. So you should get negative 2 minus the square root of 3 over 1, which is negative 2 minus the square root of 3. How do we do on that one? That doesn't work on the calculator? Okay, let's look and see what happened there. Okay, 1 half of 7 pi over 6. So it's 1 minus cosine of 7 pi over 6 over sine of 7 pi over 6. Did I write the formula right? So 1 minus, this is a negative and this is a negative. So it has to be a positive. So multiply by 2. So if we put in the calculator and I make sure that I'm in... Radian mode because this is radians now. Oh, come on, that's not my fault. <laughs> that's totally my fault. Come on. Sine of 7 pi divided by 12. Boom. Oh, it's tangent. Tangent. Boom. And then if I go negative 2 minus the square root of 3, boom. Oh, matching answers. We had our answer right. So, Oliver, you had the answer right and you didn't even know it. All right, one left. Come on. Oh, this computer today. It must be downloading updates or something because it is just not participating. All right, the tangent of one half of 45 is 22.5, right? Yes. So if we use the same thing, okay, which is one minus the cosine of 45 over the sine of 45 which is 1 minus the square root of 2 over 2 over the square root of 2 over 2. So if we multiply the top and bottom by 2, it's 2 minus the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. Can't leave square root of 2 on the bottom. So we multiply top and bottom by square root of 2. So we have to distribute on the, on the top. So it's 2 square root of 2 minus 2 over 2, which equals, if we factor a 2 out, Those cancel, square root of 2 minus 1. All right, quiz tomorrow or Friday, depending on what.
you are involved in. Otherwise, it's study hall on the opposite day.